Hello, everybody. I'm just about ready to get started. Sadly, I am feeling a little sick today, so I'm not sure how long today's session will be. But I think what we'll do is we'll see how far we get in terms of going to the past, doing some quests. I double-checked some math, and I looked at the route a little bit ahead, and I realized I really don't need that much money since the route changed since I last played it. So I, I think we should be able to do basically all the side quests. I have two emergency places I could go for money without needing to grind. So I'm going to try to take advantage of those to complete the run while completing as many side quests as possible. As I said before, I, I technically missed what could have been a side quest before in the haunted house by not getting the scrap afterwards, but that's fine. But anyway, I think we're ready to get started. Let me go ahead and boot it up. Oh, we'll be going to this place. <laughs> this music I remember hearing for quite a while. This is the final dungeon music. Was the final dungeon music. Let's go hit me, says Chris. Welcome, Chris. Okay. The other day I followed a suspicious man, but he disappeared on the way to the cave. Her newcomer. Must have just moved into town. Me too. Living in a new town is like sleeping on a new mattress. Kind of exciting. Ooh, can I... can I move these slightly? I need some... well, I don't really need the hacker badge anymore. I need, like, these way closer. I, I do not want to be, like, looking at my menu for these things. Like, that's probably okay. You speak cat, meow? I'm surprised. If my master spoke cat, I could ask for food. Okay, so I don't think there's any quests we could do right away, but I figure I'd choose some dialogue while we're here. Hello. After I moved in, I finally got my own room. I'm happy. Can't you tell? Well, you're doing well, Chris. Esther's... Usually a strong-willed tomboy, but sometimes she's gentle. I saw a huge light fall down by the river. I need to go see it, but Mama said it's dangerous. But the boys got to go. They get to do everything. Well, the house for the mayor. The town will really move forward. They like to donate. I say sure. Oh, the maximum's only a thousand. Oh, that's, that's completely fine. I was worried this was going to be 5,000. I'm going to be honest with you, chat. Like, I looked at a couple sources online. Not a single one stated how much I had to pay. Let's pay the max. What? 1,000? Thank you for your support. Yeah, and we still have over 9,000 left. We're, we're really good. So I, I over-golded, but that's fine. So that means if I pay 5,000 for the shop... 2,000 for a little robot, and 2,000 for a little robot. I actually have exactly enough. <laughs> I have seven extra gold. That's kind of funny. But anyway, because I need to build two little robots. I also need to build weather for a side quest later. Wait, kid, this is the mayor's lot. The building there, you can't go in. Oh wait, you can keep donating more? Wait, how much does he take? Alright, never mind. Maybe it's more than that. Blah! A strange looking guy took my candy in my pocket change. Alright, let, let's do this first then, actually, before I go get ahead of myself. What? I spent all my money, now I can open my shop. I should be ready when the mayor's house is done. Maybe I could get 5,000 from some kind person. Can anyone do that? Would you loan some? Sure. Oh, really? Moved by people's kindness, thank you. And it over 5,000. Okay. So that's one quest down. 
We we paid five thousand for the shop, but we're gonna need more money. Ah, so we can see it before something happens to it. To keep in mind, there's a shiny object on the table. Yeah, basically in this game, you pay a lot of money and you get no payoff. <laughs> if you're curious what I get for this, the answer is like basically nothing. The quests of this game are kind of terrible. I'm here looking for my treasure too. Ha <laughs> ha What do you think? My family heirlooms. I like to bring them out, but everyone asks. Notice chat. There's a suspicious looking wall, but I can't interact with it yet. Other things, jewels are more important than me. I was admiring them. I wish they were gone. I think that's all we could do with these people for now. So, funny enough, if I leave myself with 2,000, I could spend 2,000 to make 5,000, and I'm hoping between that little exchange. I will have enough to complete all the side quests here. Because we're only going to get one shot at these. Oh, well, you're the one who saved Poland. Are you okay now? Poland found you down by the river, took you to her house, and took care of you. She went to get you medicine from the cave. That's where the theft ring is, I hear. When you're, when you're better, you could go there. Okay, don't need anything there. Let's check out this house. You Carl's friend, sorry, but he's studying just now. Not behaving very well, so I'm making him study. Hey, can't you see? My mother's really upset. You should leave. Hmm. I'll give one more set of a thousand to this character, see if it is good enough. If it's also 5,000, it's not the end of the world. We should we should be able to get another 5k total. Gonna get medicine. Be right back, Poland. Uh, well, I think then we'll move forward for now. Was unlucky. Don't make me use smoke bomb. Please, please don't. I need it for later. There is two areas I really, really need it for. The others are more optional. Shaking my head, chat. Just get me out of here. I don't want the item that's over there. That was super unlucky. That was also super unlucky. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Wow. Come on. Uh, really, really unlucky. Holy. Okay, I'm gonna equip a smoke bomb for later. How many do I have left? Four? Okay. I could have bought more smoke bombs if I really wanted to. There's just a couple of areas that are just absolutely horrific if I don't have them. So fortunately we're almost at- That is also unlucky. I could have used it here if I wanted to, I guess. We did have four. So we're gonna be getting an item that replaces the smoke bomb and is more of a long-term use. So I'm trying to hold it for when we get to the cave. I forgot about the slime there. Um, that doesn't matter. I could have maybe killed them if I was the other character. Unlucky, unlucky movements, chat. Unlucky. I need them to be facing left or going left. If chat is curious. Oh, that's the first time the capsules exploded on me. If you're... Wow, that's... 
That's so unfortunate. If you're curious, the item that's over there is a cure. We ignored a scrap 10 from the forest, which is actually really good most of the time. I just don't need it for anything to beat the game. We already... we've... we've routed everything else we needed. Oh, I get in the cave without an issue? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. What? I can't pass. But someone's sick. If I don't hurry. Forget about him. How about me? Huh? That's not a nice thing to say. Um, oh, um, you. Hmm. What is this? An eavesdropper. Now, now for some fun. But that ring member, you cross me and you'll be sorry. Oh, I forgot to swap robots. Um. This is a small problem. I'm not the right character. Oh, I got so lucky there, chat. You have no idea. Welcome, Parameter. I need to also unequip his fist for later. Wow, I'll tell Rose. Remember that. I got real lucky there, chat. I want you to know. That could have gone really wrong. Are you better now? You were so sick. You won't need this. Um, I'm sorry. You were asleep and didn't know. I'm Poland. I fell by the river. I found you and took you to my house. You were badly injured. Let's go to my house. You should try to take it easy. Okay? Just take it easy. Take a nap and I'll make some chicken soup. Wah! Anyway, we'll see what she wad at earlier. Or later, I mean. So... Let's talk about uh, the different shields very briefly, chat. So the reason we want to use shield 5 a majority of the time is that it gives uh, super stats. You can see my guard increases by, what is it, 22, evasion by 25. So it's a pretty solid shield to have a majority of the time. However, for the final boss of the game, we need a very specific shield to make the run basically completable. So there's, stop me if you've heard this one before, but there's an item that's bugged. <laughs> And normally, it's supposed to half elemental damage, which is shield 4. But due to the way it checks for what the damage source is, long story short, I will only take single digits of damage, no matter what the damage is of the elemental attack. So we're going to be using that to kind of cheese the final boss. So our goal between now and the end of the game is to get our hands on some shield 4. And there's one other item we need to make at some point, and it requires us to have a combination of Scrap 3 and Scrap 9. That'll give us Super Boots. So if we end up with both of those... Oh, there's Inventor Friends here. Interesting. Wow, it expected me to be 29 coming here. Wow, we're 9 level under level. It's kind of funny. What's this? He looks just like you. Two of you. You know what? Even growing up, I never really understood this. I mean, we don't graphically look that similar to the other person. Let's see his blonde hair. Man in bed goes, oh, oh, stop. I have to cover it up. Terrible, what a fever. I'll get medicine from my neighbor's house. No good, I can't give you this. Hmm. Please just let me talk to you. You. You're the freeloader at Poland's house. Who are you, anyway? If you have other Poland, you'll be sorry. You will. Something will happen to you. Ah, oh, Magic Boy. By the way, there was a woman asking for you. What? The woman? Went into the tool shop. You get around. I'm not sure why the kid said that, but that caught me off guard. Rask, I was looking for you. Hey, anybody home? It's Cookie. Can't talk here, okay? On the forest of illusion, I hit our spaceship. Going to the ship. Tell Gato. Let's talk about it, okay? The forest of illusion is waiting. Do a little bit of plot there.
Don't be silly. Who else could... Who... Oh, who could be here besides you? No, no, really. Please believe me. I don't know anything. I wanted to see them, but Pops wasn't here. I just wanted to wait here for a while. That's all. It's for the jewels. I couldn't. He stole my jewelry. I went out, and when I came back, the jewelry was gone, and she was there. Anyway, get out. Never show your face in this neighborhood again. I was looking for relay. I apparently put it over there because that's where the smoke was. What should I do? It seems no one else, no one else was in Pop's house that day. But it wasn't me. Let's talk to the cat. Sorry from my master. It seems the mouse did it. Meow. I'll get him. Meow. There's a mouse hole between drawers. Meow. Mice come out when no one's there. Meow. So normally in the run, we need to actually do part of the side quest, but not actually complete it. The reason being is that this mouse hole is loaded, chat. The number of items in this room is like actually insane. Let's let's all count them together, chat. I forget, is there a mouse in the middle one? No. Go this way. Now we're in the mouse hole. So, like, when you look at this, you're like, but there's only one item in this room. And I'll go, no, there, there's so many items. There's 3,000 gold. Scrap 9. We needed uh, scrap 9 for the boots I mentioned earlier. We acquired the jewel. So we should have a scrap 3 from the previous session, and we have everything we need to make the boots later. Scrap 7, which we needed for the other side quest. And another Scrap 3, in case we missed it earlier. What a- what a ridiculous room. <laughs> I think that has the most treasures in one place in the entire game, by the way. I'm pretty sure. There's so many in such a small area. Could have been if it wasn't her. No one else was here. Stand over the jewel. Jewelry Pops is proud of. Yeah, those are my jewels. Where were they? What? A mouse did it. I wonder. A wrong poker. I must apologize to her. So if you remember, this family was feuding in the present time. I think that should fix it. I'm not sure if that also brings back the lovers because they absconded into the bottom left house. Just now, Pops came to apologize. He found the jewels. That was good. We're gonna be neighbors. We can't start off on the wrong foot. I wonder if that impacts them or if I still have to help them. We'll find out later, I guess. Oh, the house is looking more built. Kind of a neat touch. So you can see the house gradually building, being built up. I wonder if I leave and then check it again. If it'll look more complete. Uh, not really. What do you think? It's almost finished. Everyone will love this house forever. Well, I got safety money, as chat saw earlier. Might as well give another thousand. So, I need approximately... How much do I need for the boots? I might need to pause my money making there for a little bit. So I'm do I'm doing my best, Chad, in order to complete it, but it is being very stubborn. So I could spend two thousand to make five thousand, and then if I'm somehow still off in cash, I should be able to make everything else that I need. check something real quick chat i feel like something is off in my notes before we go further 
I have shield threes, but I actually don't have another shield four. Give me one second, chat. That is interesting. So I could make another shield four if I want to right now. I actually need another scrap nine. Because I was planning on using this with the treads. Give me one second as I double check where it is. Oh, actually, that should be good. I'm sorry. We'll get one more scrap nine later on. Sorry. Forgot about that. Okay. I just want to make sure we don't accidentally use it because like that's like a mandatory to beat the game item <laughs> like if i don't have it it's not possible for me to win with my level i would have to grind for like hours so it's worth double checking that so we'll be getting the final scrap i think in the fortress but we can pick up a physical copy of shield four in the final dungeon as well so we'll have two shield fours when we need them So I guess for now, oh, actually, hold on, there's one more thing I'm going to check. I want to see if this other quest is available. Maybe she's in this house. Talk to Poland real quick. I'm just going to make you medicine, I can't do it. You two are different people, I still can't believe it. Poland told me about you. Three people in the world who look just alike. Medicine, medicine. Why did she sell medicine, medicine? Hmm. Okay. It might not have activated yet. Oh, actually it did. Red flower seeds around the town. What flowers everywhere? I wonder where my seeds are. If you remember, chat, a while ago, we picked up a seed in the forest. Are those flower seeds? I plant lots of flowers around town. Say, could I have those? Take them. Really? You're a good person. I'll plant them. Nikki gave her the flower seeds. So there we go. Another quest done. Medicine, medicine, chat. So basically, I don't really need to take a single encounter for the rest of the game, by the way, chat. So I basically want to avoid as much as possible. That was unlucky. I think if I had been slightly faster, I could have avoided that. Yeah, I need to be level, I think, 22 by the end of the game, but I'll get enough XP from bosses that it shouldn't matter. There's a total number of XP. I think it would be about 500-ish. We're already at 400. Where's my hit me? They become obsolete. My well, right now, hit me is putting in the work. Also, these spawns. Ooh, I could have smoked there if I wanted to. I think I'm going to save them for when we go back to the cave. The birds are really hard to dodge in general. Because it's, it's, it's random how they move. And they're very fast. Right, at least I got through that room without it. Sir, this is an unlucky place. Pick another place. Hmm. I thought it would be a good spot, but I'm sorry. It's a good time to come here. Look at this. There's nothing here, but it's still strange. You walk like this. Something is here. A big place like this would be a good place to build, but I have to give up. This is John Paul Belmont. You could call him Count Pranky. Count, I was thinking of building a mansion here. There was a problem. Oh, yeah, chat. So... Secretly, I know where to go, but if you put on your glasses, I'm just showing you. Spaceship.
Oh, it won't let me in? Why is that? Oh, because I didn't have the glasses on. That's fair. Actually... Let's continue the plot a little bit. Joe says, it was Rask. Didn't he tell you anything? He seemed distracted, as usual. Still, I told him about this place. Rask, we were just talking about you. Hey, why did you leave Choco? What happened to you? And Tetron? Uh-oh, Chad. Napoleon says, you're wrong, Cookie. This isn't Rask. Jeets are similar, but it's a different person. What? The people of this planet can't find this ship. The culture level's different. Rask built me, so I know him well. Not Rask, but the personality is like his. I don't understand. Well, who are you? Are you trying to deceive me? Wait a second. Haven't you seen your double? What? In the town? Really? Cookie, wait. Let him show us whether it's true or not. Then check with Napoleon. Hey, and I... You and I can't tell, but he's very suspicious. We'll have to watch him. Cookie, dot, 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 dots. I see. I want you to return where Rask and the robot are. I won't abuse your trust, please. Can't stand following humans like you, but I must follow orders. I want to be found, so I'll hide my four. I'll follow you. I'm warning you. Take me to Rask right away. Remember that. Uh, I don't need to do that right now. Don't mind us. We're going to make a little robot. So if you remember, Chad, the Count had a little robot that was helping him, and we bumped into him in the previous session. We can actually give him that little robot as part of the side quest, which I thought was neat. Uh, how much are the boots? I didn't write down what their price was. I'm assuming two or three thousand. Oh, that's right. I don't even need to worry about that. I'm just combining. That's why I didn't put down the price. Well, we definitely want boots five. So the reason this is important, it gives us massive defense, better block chance. You can see we get 12 more defense, but our evasion score is through the roof. The Nintendo controller is a cool touch. Indeed, welcome Calvisha. So can give boots forward to our other companion for now. The downside with the treads is they move very, very slow, but it basically makes this 1 HP character untouchable for most of the enemies of the game. We're going to be abusing that combination of block and defense. Igor, did you see that? That boy? Yes, I saw him. Went him when there was nothing, then appeared. Mysterious boy. I want him to come and play with that when the house is done. Well, we have to look for another place. Build somewhere in this forest. Then he will come to visit. Well, Igor, let's go. Ah, uh, we get one more chance at money. Or if I have to go through the forest of illusion again to get back to him. I'm actually not sure, Chad. I think if I just go in a straight line, I'll go fast enough there. Oh my gosh, what was that spawn? That was unfair. That was actually unfair, chat. They cut me off, forced me to go right, and then they spawned another one there. That didn't happen the first time we were here, by the way, just for clarity. I'm rolling my eyes. 
There's nothing I could do. There's nothing I could do. He even went down to cut me off. Wow. That is maximum unlucky, chat. Maximum unlucky. Speaking of unlucky... Holy... The enemy spawns could not have been more terrible for me getting through here. I think it was like right... Left... Right... Up? No. What was the original path through the forest? I thought that was it. Hmm. Or can I not go there yet? Hmm. This I'm not sure about, because it's not in the normal run, so I'm trying to figure out where how to get to this, if I even can. Give me one second. how to get there now. My bad. I didn't realize it was different than the present. Okay, that time we got through that screen without getting horribly murdered. Oh, faded. <laughs> it was waiting for me. I think I need to go straight up here and I should dodge. I think if I go to the left, maybe it'll be fine. Every time we fail to escape, I feel sad. Game, please. I don't need to heal hit me at any point because I don't need his HP until literally the end of the game. Alright, let's see if... You've got to be kidding me. The enemy positions are so unfortunate, chat. Like, I... There's... I can't even kill them with this character even if I wanted to. His power is at 1. I don't even know if he could physically do any damage. I just want to go to the left here. Okay, so it wasn't like the original Forest of Illusions where you go right, left. I think it was right, left, right, up in my defense. I think I did remember that correctly. Ah, the magician. Welcome. Please come in. Good say, but this house isn't finished yet. He goes working on it by himself. Hey, do you know of any good help around here? Well, let's give him the little robot. Hey, you have a strange thing with you. Oh, this doll can have humans. Can it even build a house? Kid, would you loan me this thing? Sure. Is that true? Thanks, I'll take it. It will be a big help to Igor, too. I must reward you. It's not much, but please, take it. Thank you. So here we go. So there's our backup money. Let's see little robot walking around now. Well... You made me this trick doll to help me in my work. Thank you, thank you. That's what you think I'm grateful for. But sadly, we can't enter the giant pit. Anyway, there we go. Nice little touch that we were the ones that gave them the little robot. So with that, we're going to return to town. So we have... I think enough cash to do what I need. I think I only need about 1,000-ish, literally, so I'm willing to blow another 5k here if I need to. I'm hoping I don't need to do that to complete this quest. Okay, I I'm looking this up, Chad, hold on. <laughs> Do 
<laughs> we're thinking it's around 5,000 or so, but I've already done it. So maybe we'll come back later and it'll be finished. I put in 6,000. So as I said before, I don't super need cash. I would just like to see if this ever advances. I think that's good enough. Love letter. Oh, 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 we know about that. Maybe it's good enough to just donate any amount of cash? I'm not sure. But we put in 6,000 just in case. What a weird lamp. Like, solid on the floor. Seems kind of dangerous. Uh, Russ. He's injured and feverish. Medicine won't help. I'll take care of it. Sorry I'm so late. I made some meta. Ah! What's wrong? Did that good for nothing hurt you? I'm a monster! Ah. Wait, wait! Well, Onchoko robots are common. You weren't afraid of me at all. Why? Uh, uh, Napoleon? You're awake. Yes, it's me, Napoleon. What have you been doing? What's happened? Please tell me. The ship went out of control and fell into a cave. What about your ship? Left a blueprint of the new engine in there. Okay, then a, a woman came. Oh, she stole the Tetrod. We gotta go. See, but you have to take it easy now. I'll get the Tetron back for you. I'll go tell Cookie and Gateau right away. I'll be back. Gateau? Gateau is here. Wait, Napoleon, don't tell Gateau. Napoleon, don't go! Oh no. Huh? The same face as me. Will you? Do me a favor. The robot, please stop him. It's Gateau, the Tetron. You must never know. Listen, you're the only one I can ask. If he gets the Tetron, there's no telling what he'll do. Well, I added there is no telling. He just said no telling. Can't love in the names of the characters. We'll stop by later. I'm assuming that's good enough for the quest. Out of curiosity, though, we're gonna make a safety save. What if I just keep donating money? I'm gonna reset if nothing happens at 10,000. Otherwise, I've dumped about as much spare cash as I was gonna give into the quest. Money? We've collected a lot, but we reached our goal. Thanks for your support. Okay. I mean, 2,000 left over is fine. We can get another 3,000 from the caves. I need this 2,000 for the side quest to build one last little robot. And I think we actually managed to do it. I think we managed to uh, acquire enough cash. There we go, chat. Not a single resource online listed how much money you need to give to hit the achievement, by the way. Including on their official wiki thing. <laughs> so we, we, we are now exploring new territory of un unknown value. Alright, chat. We're gonna come into kind of an annoying dungeon. So give me one more moment to uh, associate my notes. We gotta get in here. 
I was worried that was gonna happen last time. I'm surprised that didn't happen the first time we were here. Hold on, let's reset it again. It's faster to reset than to run from the fight. There we go. Because if we don't get it first try, it's kind of bad. We're gonna equip the drill for later. Let's continue onward for now. I would like to get through this area. So the problem with this is that these clowns are really irritating to get through. I remember them being a problem when I did this the first playthrough. We're just gonna stun lock them. Oh, that reminds me. I'm gonna go in as a mouse to go faster in the water. Mouse form actually super useful. I'm gonna double check. Do I need to go upper left first or bottom left? Bottom left. Oh no. I forgot, you can't squeeze through one tile gaps in this game. My bad, I should have remembered that from last time. Like, it looked like I should have gotten through. That's really unfortunate. Now they're in bad positions. This is what I didn't want to have happen. Uh, I'm gonna have to take the fight. Unfortunate. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, we're definitely gonna use the smoke on the way out of here for sure. So now on the bottom left. Now we're where I want to go, more or less. I believe I could get bonus XP here if I want to. I might as well just play as... If I'm really not sure if I have enough XP, I should just do this. We have two safety cures, nine repairs. We're gonna hopefully get up to about 20 total repairs. I believe I just gotta go this way. We have to kill this clown, it's in the way. You're wondering why I did it this way. This also guarantees that we get a minimum amount of XP to win. This is safety XP, in case I miscalculated something. So there are two items in there. I believe the one on the left is a repair, the one on the right is a but I don't think I need either of those. I'm gonna ignore those. I feel like we're doing okay on ter in terms of supplies. Oh. Oh, can't be used here. Hmm. Did I not talk to somebody that I should have? Oh, I jumped the gun. Oh, my bad chat. Plot triggers. Even though I was told about this place, I need somebody else to tell me about this place again. Darn you, plot triggers. So sad. Actually, you know what? I think it's faster just to reset. I think it's actually faster to reset than walk out of here. I believe we saved right before there. I don't need the XP anymore. We'll check our money total, donate again if we need to. So the sad part is that even though we were told to go to the cave, more or less, via what the game was talking about, uh, sadly we need to go back to another location. So the last part of the game is mostly just kind of bouncing between NPCs, sadly. So most of the time it's just kind of like wandering around in an unfortunate way. Okay, so they said it's all a woman, then they attacked, they thought I was you, but that woman in the Tetron. Okay, so you would have thought because they mentioned his spaceship earlier that you have to go to his spaceship, which we do. We need to actually go back to their spaceship first, then we could go back to the cave. My bad. Actually, what is in this room? Oh, emergency use only. Rask, isn't it? You're from Napoleon. Rask is injured? I'm worried. 
But I can't leave here. What? Napoleon Gateau? Someone stole something important from Rask. Went to the cave to look. If anybody gets their hands on it. So anyway, they're, they're all from the same planet. Rask Gateau and I all did the same job. In spite of that, why did Rask... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now that they've told me they're at the cave, I could go advance the dialogue. So I believe we saw everything else we needed to trigger the plot. Like, we know about the theft ring from multiple people. We heard about an unknown assailant attacking people near the cave mouth. Take two through here. Well, this will give me another chance at this, I guess. Kind of near the door. That's not good. You gotta move. No, they're in a bad spot. Okay, that's a good spot. Let's hope this works. Back the mouse. It's fun. Oh, it ate my input. I hate that. That made me so sad. Chad, I hit down and then left, but I held down for like a frame too long or something. And it just walked straight down. I think that's why I ended up giving up on the routing of doing this game as like a speed run. I just, the fact that you move like a minimum distance when you're running, I can't like see the tiles very easily. I don't have a concept of like where one tile begins or ends when I'm in the run animation. Let me change the run order again. Make sure we get minimum XP. If I get into another fight, it doesn't matter. I don't need to... Ooh, that was a weird angle to take that fight. I'll back attack them. Ooh, I'm glad I did. That actually wouldn't have killed. So we got even more XP because that was a triple fight. And we got a spare repair. So I guess in one, in some ways it worked out. Now something should happen if we come over here. They'll show what happens if we don't come in as the mouse. Oh. <laughs> Oops. I don't think that was supposed to happen. I, I must have moved in exact amount of steps in order to trigger that cutscene. That is really funny. So normally you're supposed to vanish if you're level 20 or use mouse so that way he doesn't get caught opening the door. But I guess I confused the game because I swapped on maybe literally the tile where he stops checking. So anyway, I was going to get extra dialogue there, but apparently not. A cute little mouse. But I could tell even when you look like that. You've come again. Even though I hurt you, you recovered fast. You haven't forgotten me. Such a sad thing to say. Right, it's me. The hacker's leader, Rose. After the explosion, there was a hundred year time Didn't slip. Did we just see something we weren't supposed to? We did see something we weren't supposed to. I suffered after that. I started a theft ring. Collected money for research on how to return to our planet. All because of you. Uh, you wrecked my plan. Ugh. I was so happy to meet you in this world. To get Tetron back again. This Tetron is mine now. Now I'll never bother you again. <laughs> Sunshine doesn't reach the dark places. Goodbye, kid. I won't see you again. <laughs> you deserve it. Oh, this is kind of a problem because the other class... Okay. Oh, you can notice that he drops some of his inventory. I don't want to be between both of them. We'll take this fight. Please, Please don't hit me.
Okay, so the game mentioned that we're missing some items. If you notice, we're missing our light source and our drill. Ooh. There's a scrap aid over there. We're not gonna go get it. You can just go through the right door for it. Uh, where do I go from here? That is most unfortunate. <sighs> not, that I, not that I could do it all. Not that I could do it all there, chat. That was such bad movement. RNG from the enemy. Holy. I think I need to go up here. Perfect. I'm stunned. A tough robot. I hurt you so much, but you're still moving. Of course. That's made by Raskit Kato. Robot. I'm hard to destroy. But why do you phrase it like that? This Kato asked me to kill you, but I'll help you. Kato. First. I'll have to finish you off before I go, or Rose will get hysterical. What, who? This mouse. I'm not in a good mood. I'll finish you first. Wow, he's straight up picking fights with mice. Perish. That ting is them blocking, which is really bad. If they triple block me, I just die. I'm pretty sure, by the way, chat. I, I just wanted to walk hand in hand with the girl. And we murdered him. Icky Mike, you're so easy going. I was surprised. I didn't know people could oh, from here could make robots. Came here with Kato, but we got separated. I can't believe what he did. Oh? I do I have to talk to him more than once? Don't worry about me. If you don't recover and you can't move, you're junk. Esther betrayed me, and I've lost my energy. We'll say I'll fix you. You, you can't. Without spare parts, I can't be fixed. Uh, so we should have spare parts. Hmm. Unless he means a repair. Or the, oh, he meant a repair. Are those spare parts? Well, I forgot. There's something I must do. If I don't give back the Tetron, I couldn't face Rask. I owe you a debt. I think he used the repair on Napoleon. Well, I'm glad we picked that up, because I actually forgot to write down my notes. Let me update that in case I ever play this again. Equip repair. Talk to Napoleon. working well. Mickey, thank you for your help. I don't have any lights in this dark place. What? You dropped it. What did you drop? I'll walk with you. If I can light the way, it'll be easy. Okay. So, we need him to act as our drill. Let's see if I can save the game. Maybe we can. What's your hint for this area? Your enemy has a lot of evasion power. Try increasing your robot's defense power. I guess we technically followed her advice. So there's a little exploit, I guess, with this character. So Napoleon will remember what form you enter a room with as you go through. So if you're a mouse and you walk through water, he'll move as fast as the mouse. If you don't do that, he moves very slowly through the water. So if you're wondering why I'm equipping mouse here, it's to do this. I believe our goal is to go back to the bottom left. I did not go the right way at all. I gotta be careful because this could end up killing this character. So our goal is to go back to the bottom left because we don't have a drill and he, if you remember earlier, established could go through walls. We'll break this wall. Let's get started. Stay back. Let's go. I could pick this up, it's right here. And in fact, we need it in order to proceed. Not that I'll equip it, but we do need this, or else the game won't progress. 
We did it, chat. We got the light. Yay. There's a repair on a scrap five here. We don't need to worry about that. Is that yours? There may be more. Look carefully. Let's go through the north exit. I'm gonna try to do something. I saw this in the run. Let me do something like that. There we go. So the enemy can also collide with him. So I made the robot basically act as a wall and it confused the clown AI into thinking it hit a place it couldn't go. So I did that to avoid an encounter. That's the only time I use it in the entire run, by the way. <laughs> Just stupid mechanics with this character. This rest spaceship. I mean, I wish we could use our robots to body block enemies. It would make our life way easier. It's broken up. Looks like parts are missing. But who? What for? I've got a bad feeling. Sorry, I'll go first. If we had lights. Sorry, take care. Anyway, our light source has left us. But if we open this, we most importantly get our drill back. Let's try to leave. Our goal, I believe, is the bottom left, so we're gonna try to avoid all the clowns. Wow, that is horrible enemy RNG. It just went in a straight line at me, cool. So there's this one wall you could enter, by the way, which I would just like to state is incredibly rude. I know the first time I played the game, I did not find this wall forever. If you don't have the light source, it's very hard to see. And we're actually coming up into one of the hardest bosses in the game from like a casual experience. A lot of people got stuck on this boss. I'm gonna make sure everything is set up. So we need Fist. We have the tank treads for defense, shield 5, shield pack. So we're basically as tanky as possible. And it's gonna be... potentially very absurd. I'm gonna equip the chameleon glasses because there's actually a set of enemies here I do not want to get into an encounter with. Ooh, that was almost really bad. Okay, we got by them. <laughs> Really? If I give you the Tetron, I can return to my time. You don't know anything. Tetron is like a prism that shows time. As an experiment, I'll show you your past through this prism. We did a safety save. We'll talk about the boss once we're done with the cutscenes. Oh, Mayor, I have a favor to ask. Yes, what is it? Money? Anything, just ask. Really? Mickey has three stones. I want them. They belong to someone. Nothing else? I'll buy new ones. No, only those will do, right? I need them badly. Don't be so slow. Take anything valuable from these people. Then we can find out how to return. I was surprised. It had never responded before. People that don't know its power can't do it. Well, what are you going to do? Well, you finished that machine in yellow, so I think I could trust you. Who is that? I said no one could get in. You, Mickey! This guy Tetron is collecting in the future. Wait, what? I, I don't think that's grammatically correct. I think they meant either this guy that is collecting Tetron in the future or this is the guy collecting Tetron in the future. So oops on the English on that one. If I eliminate you, you can't bother me in the future. G Gato, please wait. What are you thinking? Tetron was one of Rask's inventions. 
I... I know. The Tetron Guy future is collecting? Exactly. Rest deeply regrets having made this. You should know about the passage of time. So he left Choco looking for a place where he could bury it. Hmm. After all, you're only a robot, Napoleon. You'll never be able to understand people's minds. Rose, after I finish this guy off, you can continue testing the machine. I will take the Tetron. Toe. You're stubborn, but this is the end. This time I have a strong machine. You know what happens when she gets mad. I don't know what that means. But here we go. This boss fight is infamously hard. Infamously. If you play this game, I feel bad for you. I'm going to talk about the mechanics of the boss before we do anything too crazy. So the boss has an 87.5% damage reduction on any strikes against it. Oh, I'm out of range. Oh, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate. That head bash has a 25% chance to crit me, and it did. That is really unlucky. That is really unlucky to have that happen. That is not a high percent chance to hit us. Hmm. We're already off to not a good start. So all of... What is going on? Am I having the worst RNG of all time? What is happening? That attack, I think, only has a 1% chance to hit me, by the way. Am I gonna game over here? I'm going to safety cure. I have no idea what's happening. Did I unequip something from the other character? I should have shield pack, boots five, shield five. Did I unequip something that I forgot about? If so, I'll go correct it. If she hits me again, I'm resetting. Something's wrong. Okay, there we go. Like, what is going on? So anyway, so if we do a single punch, it'll do somewhere between 60 and 70 damage. Uh, we just need to crit. Oh, we didn't crit. We did one damage. Come on, crits. So we have a- oh, I'm sorry. I think she- I'm sorry. I said 25%. She has a 12.5% chance of hitting with the crit, and that'll get through. We have a 25% chance of critting. So in theory, we should kill her before she kills us, but she killed us twice. Which I'd just like to state is incredibly unlucky. We need a crit here. No, we need a crit. That red flash, by the way, I think potentially could disable the run command. We haven't talked about that before. There's a status ailment that stops us from doing this, and she did activate it. Wow. I think this is going about as bad as it could possibly go. I had early deaths, zero crits, and I got disabled. Holy... I got a crit, finally. There we go. This is- oh, this is so unlucky. I'm glad I saved before we did this, chat. Normally, on the old strats for this run, because I, I did it, I think, before they updated the run, I needed, like, something absurd, like, 18 plus repairs to beat this boss battle. Because I didn't have, like, Boots 5 for defense. Wow, she paralyzed us again. So yeah, I think this is actually worst possible RNG. Even, even in the old strat, I don't think I've ever been disabled this often or failed to crit so many times. Like, this is actually insane how bad luck this is. We have not crit a single time with our triple punch. Keep in mind, any one of those punches can crit, by the way, and not a single one is crit. Holy. I'm glad we took a safety cure from before. By the way, chat. I feel like I'm still going to game over here. But we'll see, I guess. That attack is the one that concerns me. That has a good crit chance against us. There we go, we finally crit. So normally we need about three crits and then like a normal punch will do. 
Please, another crit. I'm mashing that B button chat to get another turn. So we'll never end up getting behind the boss, but I did not mean to do single punch there. That was a mistake. That's fine, we didn't get punished. Come on, where's our crit? Where's our crit? <laughs> I think I might actually legitimately game over. This is so sad. Well... Anyway, chat, part of the reason I said I wasn't a big fan of, uh, potentially running this game before, I think we said it off stream. RNG is a really big decider of the run. The run would basically be dead right now, by the way, if we were doing a serious speed run. Like, this is atrocious. I'm just kind of rolling my eyes right now. There we go. There's our crit. Like, even if we single punch, we just need to crit, like, one in every six, and it'll still be faster than a single punch. One more crit, and she should die. Nope, no crits. Alvish, I'm wondering if this is the great tank of Giza. Definitely. We're fighting the Sphinx right now. Oh my gosh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, no. I really hope I don't get crit here, or else we're going to game over. Oh, wait, no, no. We got one more chance. <gasps> Did I just Hail Mary it? Screw it. If she kills us, she, she earns it, chat. If she kills us, she earned it. I'm just going in, chat. I'm not wasting time reviving. Oh, she got two head strikes in a row. That's not good. That's the attack that's most likely to kill us. The others are incredibly unlikely to kill us. At this point, I might be able to straight up kill her with normal punch. We're getting pretty close with how many times I've had the normal punch. She has, like, only 400 health, by the way. Any crit will kill her, if we could crit. Come on. So unlucky. So unlucky! <laughs> How? How is this fight still going on? Game, please. I li just one more crit. Holy. <laughs> what is going on? It's a 25% chance. Come on. I think that's seven in a row that haven't worked. Holy. We are destroying the odds in the worst way. I don't believe this. You know what? If we survive this, I'm gonna revive the other character. This is unreal. This is actually just unreal, RNG. This is this is the worst chat, I swear. Still didn't crit. I'm so glad I revived. <laughs> I'm I'm in like complete shock at how bad this RNG is. Holy. This added, like, four minutes to the boss fight. Alright, we're fine here. Well, I'm glad I had nine repairs. We're gonna need to replace them after this. But yes, this fight is not... The fight does normally take a while, because you only do about 100 damage optimally. If you want to think about it that way, with, like, an axe. So, you'd have to do 2,000 damage with single hits, and we're approaching the point where it, it was almost faster to have single struck the entire time. Which is insane, because we do literally, like, almost 12 times the damage with a single one of these commands. <laughs> how is this happening? How are we- how are we still not crit? Holy, I'm getting pazuzu'd. What's happening? No way. 
Are you really gonna make me give up on the flurry strat because I just can't crit? This is so sad. <laughs> this is so sad. I one crit there is guarantee is going to kill her. It needs to do like 400 damage and she dies. It doesn't even need to fully crit. It just needs to crit once. Holy. Unreal chat. There we go. I swear that was like 14 failed crits in a row. That was so bad. We should level from this. I've hit level 22. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in the game right now, chat. I did nothing wrong. The game just decided that I wasn't gonna win. Uh, I actually don't want to put 50 points here. I could put two points in energy, why not? Everything else will go towards energy so I can survive. Uh, I guess I could repair. So yeah. I mean, the three HP won't matter now. Ideally, I'm gonna get about uh, two more levels. Actually, even one level is probably fine, to be honest with you. But we're very likely to get two levels. And the rest will just go towards energy. There are some attacks that will only do potentially as a simple four single digits, thanks to shield four. So if we have at least 20 HP, for example, should be able to survive two elemental attacks from the final boss, which is important for not burning through a million repairs. But that was some of the worst RNG I have seen in a while, chat. That was atrocious. <laughs> I didn't expect right. Everyone said it was Gato's fault. I can't forgive that. Get back my Tetron. Yeah. So this is safety gold, which by the way is going basically purely towards repairs, especially after that last encounter. And this is another kind of punch equivalency. We're gonna sell that for bonus cash. So between these two items, I should be able to afford the 1,000 I'm gonna spend towards banish, and the rest will go towards repair kits. Keep in mind, repair kits should now be half cost when we go back to the present as we completed that other side quest. So I should get a pretty silly amount of repairs, like 20 something plus to beat the game. I think she fell down the hole. I think that's what the Kia was. We're gonna play as the mouse, so the way we move faster here. Uh, I think I gotta kill the clown. I'm gonna switch back to this weapon so I have some control. He might drop us a bonus repair. If Chad is curious, as a reminder, whenever I turn my back to the enemy with this weapon, it counts as a back attack, <laughs> even though I'm clearly not behind them. It only checks your facing compared to their facing. Uh, I think I'm gonna smoke bomb through here. So I could have used like one or two more smoke bombs, I think. But this is like the room I wanted to use it on. In case I mess it up, it's worth holding on to one more. They don't last forever, but you can see this makes it way easier to navigate through here. Wow, that was basically as good as I could have hoped for. Oh, that was, that was a smooth exit. Tech is going around the world and light speed is not a bug. Oh no. So we have our last chance to do anything we want to do in the past. But we'll make a safety save. Uh, was there anything we... I guess I could check this to see if it updated. Mary's building fun goal achieved. Fun drive over. Thanks for your help, building committee. Yeah, I think because I'm not feeling super great, I might actually split it up until tomorrow. 
Even though we don't have much of the game left. We'll go another hour, though. Donated some of my money, too. Let's put on our glasses. I think the game will remember what we're wearing for the photo later. Who wanted Mayor's House? They should build a game center. Mayor's House is finally finished. Be a symbol of the progress of our town. Someone who gave a lot of money over there. Mickey. Mickey has given 9,000 gold altogether. Mickey gave so much. The town has decided to wreck a statue of Mickey in the square. There you go, chat. Town committee will prepare for an election. The mayor's house will be functional. That's for everyone's cooperation. Now, a memorial photo will be taken. Actually, chat, not a single online resource mentioned we would get a statue. There we go, chat. We did stuff that's not even in the online guides. <laughs> Look at that. New content, chat. Now they're in front of the mayor's house. So you might remember this photo in the album we saw in the present. Take in the picture. Find a place to stand. I mean, will it count if I become a mouse? Let's see if it counts. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna take the picture now. Don't move, okay? Ready? Cheese! <laughs> there we go, chat. We're gonna take the photo as the mouse. <laughs> I feel like that's ultimate level trolling. Okay, it's done. Thanks, everybody. I like how they keep saying it. I think that's good enough. Oh, no. Maybe I confused the game because I was the mouse. I guess I could just keep stepping in front of it to reset the photo. Uh, let's make sure it takes a photo of the mouse. Also, them saying cheese as the mouse is excellent. Playful dog is back. Ah, uh, I think we've done everything we needed to do then. We did all the side quests. Yeah, see, now it's only 150. Let's buy some stuff. This will make up for the absolutely horrendous luck we had earlier. We only need about 1,500 for bonus items and only 1,000 for the plot items. I'm just gonna buy these since I'm here. So we're getting double the amount of repairs we would normally get. And keep in mind, I can sell a punch item for later. Let's go down to 2,500 and then that should be good enough. I do need to make a little robot at some point, I guess. How many total revives did we get? 19. We still have a safety cure. We have a safety clean. I could sell the clean. So we still have potential other items I can pick up, but 19 revives for the end of the game sounds more than good enough to me. Although, I need to make sure I sell additional items. I should have enough to get, a, like, another 300 if I need it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I should be good, because I still have all these other junk items to get rid of. Yeah, that should be good. I actually want to keep shield, too, for later. I actually want... You know what I should do, actually? Let's let's unequip their weapon altogether. Let's double shield, since I have one of those. We're going to double shield at the end of the game anyway. Should probably do that so it don't take as much damage. Best friend is visiting. Ask me to leave them alone. Ask us a place to go home to. That's normal, but I somehow feel lonely. Wait, not going back to Choco. Explain, Ras. I'm not going back. It's something I have to do on this planet. You're a Choco scientist. The Tetron has shown you, right? Choco will be invaded in the future. How can you tell the king to prepare for it now? It's Cookie. What? Okay, I'm coming. That was Napoleon. Something's happened. I must return to the ship, okay? I'm going. You must change your mind by then. 
We meet again. I know, the Tetron was stolen by Gato. The favor to ask. Follow Cookie and stop Gato. The only one who could stop Gato. No, and something awful will happen. We've only just met, but I feel as if I know you well. Anyway, chat. Normally, those books are locked off forever unless you know about the hidden library. So, we only hit level 22. We are obviously not going to be able to read those books. In fact, I'm not even sure if I'll ever hit a level to use them. Oh, love, let love letter is still there. So we should get a statue of ourselves with the goggles, and then the photo should have us as the mouse. Okay, let's proceed to the spaceship. Chad loved me memorizing where I had to go. I'm actually gonna go in here real quick and just see how much money I have. I technically could have waited a little bit. So that sells for 320. Oh, that sells for a thousand. Oh, that is so good for us, chat. That is so good. Yeah, there we go. So if I spend 2,000 on a little, ro ro little robot, 500 potentially towards weather, 1,000 towards vanish, we should be able to complete all the side quests without needing more. And our remaining cash can go towards cures and whatever. Even if the shop in the present doesn't give us discounts, it should be fine. Hello, the Bumble Blitz. Hope you're doing well. Mickey, did you see Cookie? The toe's out of control. Cookie and Rask are about to take off in the spaceship. It's moving. Sorry, Mickey. Go to the cockpit and get Gato's attention. You have ten minutes. That's enough time to start the engine and return to the ground. Thank you for tabbing me. Appreciate it. Unfortunately, we can't go in the engine room. Things were going mostly fine, except for the boss fight. The boss fight was atrocious, RNG. Talk to Kato here. Ask whatever. What are you thinking of, fool? What? This Tetron's defective. <laughs> that old trick it won't fool me. You always liked that Rask. Always ahead of me with that smiling face. This Tetron was your invention too, but you refuse to use it this way. So I'll use it. With this prism, I'll see the past future and control the flow of time. Uh-oh, chat. What? What's happening? No way. You? Not the wiggle room, chat. We did not escape the wiggle room. Dot, 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 dot. Mickey! Please, Vicky, get up and put on a happy face. You've come too. Where does it hurt? What? Old Rococo. Huh, you were dreaming. This is your house. You remember. It's all the switch to blow up the fortress with a laser. Oh, we technically never followed up on that conversation. Oops. I forgot. We, we left him in the fortress and I didn't bother. The fortress exploded. You're lying in the wreckage of the fortress. I'm glad you're safe. What? Tetron. I picked it up from the wreckage of the fortress. We'll talk about it later. You get up now. Are you sure you're okay? Don't push yourself. Well, Chan, here we go. So remember this little advertisement? We should be able to do something with it. Oh, we're not allowed to do... Wait. Oh, maybe it's later in the game. Maybe it's later in the game. This we can come back to at some point, and it will be the developer room, just for chat reference. So I will try not to forget about that between sessions. Apparently I can't access it now, which is fine. We're gonna just read all the books. I'm looking for Vanish, which should be, I think, left of this one. Vanish is exactly what we need. This should be Weather, so I can now complete another quest. 
Turbo Pack is not needed in our run. I think originally runs used to use it for certain bosses, but we're going to be going a more tanky approach. You saw how bad the RNG was. We are not going to rely on RNG to beat this game if we can avoid it to that extent. What's the matter, Mickey? We'll see. Okay. So let's go make the vanishes before I forget about them. This not me if you've heard this one before, chat, but the items are bugged. So vanish is normally supposed to last a certain amount of time, and I think we talked about this in the previous session. But if I unequip, re-equip, we should be good. I'm gonna buy two for safety reasons, in case one disappears. I technically only need one. We're gonna buy a little robot. We need that potentially for the other character in town. And our remaining cash will just go towards repairs or heals or whatever, because we don't need cash for the rest of the game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we don't need cash for the rest of the game. So this is just bonus. Even if we don't get a discount at the shop, we already took advantage of the discount by saving about 1500 So this 1500 we could just spend towards whatever we want at this point. I'm at 472 megs. I need to be at 510 uh, right before the final cutscene of the game. Which we should be good, because given that we have two bosses, I think, to go. Wow, an earthquake. Mickey, it's okay to go out. Be careful. Old man says, I'm asking you about the light. Why can't I go to the river? I want to see what fell. Everyone calm down. A light fell by the cave. Don't know what it was. It's dangerous to go out there. Everyone wait, Everyone wait here. I'll check it out. Huge light fell on the riverbank. Maybe it's a UFO. I'm gonna take a look. I don't know why they say snore with an exclamation mark at the end of the sentence. The earthquake came. I was trying to get away when I saw some kind of light in the forest. Alright, let's... Let's see if the shop still gives a discount. I'm just curious. I doubt it does, but it'd be neat if it did. Oh! It did remember it. Okay, then we'll take a safety repair. Let's take a safety cure. Actually, we'll do two safety cures. And I'm gonna do one safety repair here. Should be good. 20 repairs is more than good enough. There is one boss that literally cannot damage us at all. Um, and then we just have the final boss, essentially. You might notice there's more flowers around town now. Walking, some kids scare me... By blowing on a horn, was I surprised. But the invention I got, it lost to a kid at the entrance of the village. He took it with him. Just neat you can see the flowers. Hello, I'm Mint. It's clear the new Secretary Rose is one of the hackers. Oh. Never mind. Nothing new here. Maybe it was this house that needed the little helper? No, that's not right. I heard you're innocent. You discovered the mayor was a fake. Isn't that right? This has been hard for you. Let's move to tears. There's a little house on the opposite side. Looking for a bedridden woman, I believe. Might have been this house. Oh, she's not here anymore. Oh no, this is Carl's house. Never mind. Wrong house. What do you have to say, Carl? Oh, it's you. I have no time. I've been studying. My father's coming back soon. But then I'll get a perfect score on my test and impress him. What? Get back the invention. I don't think so. Or vanish. Uh, who is it? Huh. That should have been it, though. It said, Wow, who is it? Wow, I'm sorry. Won't do anything bad. I'll give it back. Make it take it back the horn. So I'm not going to use it for the rest of the game, but I figure I'd get the horn back. The horn put in the work, chat. So that's another side quest done, technically, just to get the horn back. We're not going to use it for anything, but it's there in our inventory now. The Great Mare was a thing. People don't change that easily. Do you have anything to say, little person in here? 
Oh, the dog blocked me. Talk to me when you're in trouble. I'm older and more experienced. Apparently not. So let me confirm. Oh, not loading. I wanted to see where else I needed this, if anywhere. What? My son. He's at Pop's house. He's making arrangements for the wedding. Oh. I guess I didn't need it then, because she's recovered. Oh, that's unfortunate. I didn't need... So I, I needed to make Little Robot prior to going in the past. That's unfortunate. On the plus side, you have Little Robot following you. I guess in a way, this is fine. Okay, so I'm reading the diary, and he says, we're, we're making preparations for the wedding. I look forward to it. We must thank the deity for making it possible for us to meet. Okay, so I think... I think I also canceled another, another side quest, sadly. Oops. Oh, well. So now we learn, chat. I didn't realize there was a cutoff for the other quest. But on the plus side, I could just walk around with our little robot friend. I'm sure chat is not very sad about. God is going to marry Cook or son. I'll be lonely, but he's such a fine man, I guess it's a good thing. Yeah, they're no longer feuding. And now the people that were stranded before have been saved. So I didn't even need Scrap 7, technically. Because I, I basically saved their life. So if I didn't... If I didn't fix the family relationships... I think the old woman might have still been sick, and this couple definitely would have still been back on the house. In the bottom left. So there we go, chat. I got a spare scrap seven if I need it for anything. Getting married soon. Came here today for, uh, for a meeting to plan the ceremony. Father is happy too. Today he gave me an heirloom jewel as a wedding present. Glad that her father is allowing her to get married. There we go, chat. I guess in a way we did resolve their quest, just not in the way that would result in the most dialogue, I suppose. It says dog's footprints when I investigate the lamb. Dog is cute. His name is Turbo. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, where's our statue, by the way? Didn't they say there would be a statue? Or is it, like, in this area? Oh, there we go. I like how our picture is just here now. It's not a statue. Let's see what happened to the photo here. Let's see, did it remember the mouse? It did, nice. So maybe they meant memorial photo? They definitely said statue. I'm pretty sure I did not misremember that. I'm gonna go up here, see if they have anything to say. Okay. Yeah, we saved Mickey into the photo album. It's funny that they just took the photo like the mouse was us. It's like everybody knows, secretly. <laughs> I'm just checking to see if there's anything we can see from the top of the building. Nope. Interestingly, that area didn't allow for our little helper. Oh well. Well, I guess we showed the, the what happens. You spend like 14,000, you get a discount at the shop, which is probably not worth it because you could have just spent the 5,000 on goods. So you'd have to spend 10,000 in the shop to make it kind of worth it. So obviously that's not happening in our playthrough. But hey, we got our photo here. Uh, let's see if any of the other... Oh, no, 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 we're gonna wait a little bit before we explore. Let's continue for now.
So if you recall, something was happening at the cave. Oh, got the slime. So sad. Seriously. Why? <laughs> right, chat? Why? Oh my god, what is happening, chat? I feel like my, my RNG is just horrendous. What? How is basic slime inescapable? Fine, you know what? Perish. Jerks. Running would have been faster. Would have been. It's emergency, you can't go in the cave. Can't stop a mouse. Man, that that run RNG was uh, something, chat. Um. Um. Are you from this planet? <laughs> Hello, I'm Tira. Oh no, I confused the game again. It thought I was still human. Oh, chat, we're breaking cutscenes again. Is this a cave planet? It's not too warm. It's just fine. I really like it. Princess, I told you not to go out. Back to the ship. Oh. What's this? You're Mickey, aren't you? I recognize you. I'm your consul. People can see us here. Let's go somewhere and I'll fill you in. Everybody's heard of the mouse, apparently, chat. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> just just talking, just talking casually, like, yeah, this is normal. This will be a shock, but we're from the planet Choco. This is Princess Tira. Mickey, we came to ask you to help us. On Choco, the hackers have launched an attack. The surface was burned and we ran to the shelter. You're my ancestor's cookie. Tell me to come here to see you. Mickey's a cultural icon. Everybody knows the mouse, pretty much. Princess, I'll tell him. Your explanation would take too long. A Tetron is now in your possession. Use its power, Cookies Will said. Hackers have a fortress with a strong power. We need the Tetron to destroy it. Ugh, it's hard to believe. But it's true. In exchange, I will give you this. If you help me, you could use this. This will take you to Choco. We have acquired the spaceship, chat. Now we must go. We'll be awaiting good news from you. Princess, shall we go? Wow. Mickey's getting his own spaceship chat. There we go. Um. Please help us. We've tried everything. Mickey, meeting you has been my first ray of hope. Please help us. Unchoko, we may meet again. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you. What do you think? Kind of suspicious, I believe it. I like that he just knows it's us, by the way. I think the game forgot to check for this. You two? I don't think they're so bad. Well, these three Tetron. Decide to give them to you. Use them well. Mickey's gotten stone one. Mickey's gotten stone two. Mickey's gotten stone three. Oh, you know what, chat? I just remember where the programmer's room was. My bad. I'm being silly. There was one other place that had what we needed. Let's go do that now. So this is basically our last real chance to kind of wrap up side quests. So I think the rest of the session will be a little bit of side questing. Or side questing into a little bit of plot, I mean. I think it's this is the room I need to do it in. Because remember, there's more than one of these. There we go. Secrets, chat. Secrets. So the programmer's room gets its own sound for some reason. I don't have much time or memory left. 
If K, pen name, knew that, he would get mad. I just made a partition in R&D. Compared to that, this is small. Kid, you're buffed out. Why don't you try making games at Quintet? Find a secretary, too. This game teaches boys how to grow up to be men. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the journey to manhood involving building killer robots and turning into mice. Started F1 gladly. Now I've got a throbbing toothache. Pretty gives me a bad time about my hair. Anyway, looking forward to the next game. I'm still in training, but I'll soon make my debut as a female programmer. Recently, I indulged in the PC system. The phone bill was awful. Well, this is terrible. I'm so busy. There aren't enough chips. It's serious. Sometimes this place, ah, uh, I tell you, the real me is not a robot. It's tough. That's how my 18th birthday party went, says Kavisha. Let's go ahead and exit. There you go. I think there's anything else we needed from father, right? Yeah, we got everything already. Okay. So let's see what quests are still available that I did not cancel. I will still consider the other quests complete. We got them unstranded, so we'll count that. Uh, I just realized I made a mistake. I can't use items in the overworld, so if I want to use the blimp that we should still have... Which doesn't look too different from the spaceship, to be honest with you. Need to equip it here. So what happens if we return here, out of curiosity? Because this is where they absconded before, but they're clearly not here anymore. So is Ein still on the bottom right island? Let's find out together, chat. So I think what we'll do, chat, since I'm not feeling super well, we're, we'll do the final dungeon tomorrow rather than doing it today. So we'll do everything that we need to for then. He's still here. Okay, so interesting. It... He... So I guess we never help him escape. That's actually kind of funny. Oops, I keep forgetting you can't use it in the overworld. Well, I guess he's just stuck here forever. Oops. I could have scrapped seven earlier if I wanted to. Okay, so... As we like to say, sucks to be him. Let's talk to these people again. Ah, uh, here we go. The village has had no rain for a long time. The village is parched. We're all thirsty. Hard to cook. I'm sweating like a pig. Just doing another happy dance. The village has had no rain for a long time. We're parched. Well, chat. You probably guess from me having the weather thing. I twirl my umbrella. I make it rain. Then they all start dancing. It's raining, it's raining, you did it! I don't know if this actually does anything in terms of items. Let me double check. I'll talk to the chief here before we go further. Brother Bye Bye, you chanted and it rained. The villagers are happy. Hero of the village, I thank you. Check out the two boxes in the corner. Zelst is three. Laser one. Is <laughs> that a gun in there? Alright, so that's one more quest down. Funny enough, Chad. Your messenger of the deity. This is the praise dance. There we go. Make him do the praise dance. So funny enough, Chad. If we leave, we should see a little Easter egg. Yeah, if you leave the weather on in a place, Chad, it's just forever active on the overworld. I thought that was a cute touch. Wanted to show that off before we did anything else. We're just gonna let it rain here forever, eternally. I'm sure they'll appreciate it in the future. Alright, I need my vanishes, like, way over here. 
And my inventory got so messed up from stuff being in the corners. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna let them deal with it. Listen, they said to make it rain. They didn't say to make it stop raining. You know what I mean? Should have given me more. So we took care of that side quest. We got back our horn. I think that's almost everything then. We cancelled out the quest in the bottom left. Oh, there's one thing I can show off, I guess. It's here. We can basically make it rain everywhere if we want to, chat. I believe we could get an item by doing this. Hmm. Uh, my inventory is all messed up. Oh, or maybe not. Never mind. I mean, I can make it rain here. I thought there was somebody I could talk to for a scrap. Or maybe it's before we go in the past. Oh well. It's not related to a side quest. It just unearths an item, essentially. But on the plus side, we can make it rain there. That was if we make it rain in Rococo chat. <laughs> Oh, they ran away? <laughs> we made the kid run away. Okay, that was a nice little Easter egg. Even if it's raining, I can still read Mint's articles and be happy. What? Why am I all wet? Legend says water only falls on the handsome. Ha 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 We scared off everybody. Even the little girl is gone. That's interesting. Ah, uh, a little Easter egg. Anywhere else I want to visit? I don't think so. I think that's all the the side quests in the game. Then we auto completed a few of these. So some of them we had to do before going back in the past, like the scrap seven. But hey, we got we made it rain somewhere. Oh, that's places looking destroyed. make it rain on the chicken farm. What do the chickens do? I must know, chat. Did they program dialogue for them to react to this? Nope, just cluck feed me. chat. Let's make it forever raining near them. Oh, I think that's all the side quests in the game. We got a couple of items that I'm never going to use. They're just kind of side things. If I really want to sell them for cash, I could. I'm assuming 21 repairs, 3 cures is good enough to beat the game, but you saw my RNG luck, so I'm not in I'm not entirely convinced, to be honest. Uh I think we're good to go then. Let's let's go to space. We're gonna let it rain here forever. So let's go ahead and take a spaceship. Which makes the same sound effect as our blimp. Question mark, question mark, question mark. So I think that's all the bonus stuff I can show off there. Where is it? Might be here. Yeah. There's a hidden library here. 
So for whatever reason, you failed to get all the uh, inventor's friends. Every single book in the game, including a few bonus ones, are here. Welcome to Karara. Plus books from all time periods are collected here. Probably find what you need here. Well, come on in. So if you're willing to explore the map, you can find this. You can see all the all the stuff that we've learned over time. I think we did an okay job of collecting them as we went. We can now make boots too, which is not useful to us. X1, obviously no longer useful. Power pack. Sword 2. So we could spend money to make these directly. Punch 2 versus using scraps. Celstis. Get the shield pack, which we're still using because it's so good. 21, learn how to make smoke. Wait, why would we learn to make s Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you telling me an item that has nearly unlimited use is easier to make than a single use consumable? Why? I think they messed that up. That should have been like a level 10 thing at best. Not 21 to learn smoke. We literally have no reason to use smoke anymore outside of if I'm in combat physically. And that was really dumb of them. I just realized that for the first time. Bomb 2, which we'll never use. Yeah, see, we're already coming across stuff we can't read. I think the last thing we can make is over here. Yeah, like, single-use cure? I don't know, chat. That's so late in the game. Should have been able to do that from basically anywhere. Uh, well, cure, maybe I could understand for a balance purpose. Yeah, there's an Inventor's Friend level 50 there, by the way. So if you want to get all the items in the game, chat, by the way, you have to be level 80. As we like to say when we're on the stream, no way. <laughs> no way am I doing that, chat. I am not grinding to level 80 to go figure out what that item is. Like, listen, I don't mind showing some stuff off, but, like, no thank you. Just say no, chat. Let's go to Choco. Let us outrun our spaceship. We'll talk to everybody. Welcome to Choco. Our goal is to go to the meeting room, which is above us, but I could go to other places first. This is the meeting room. Princess Tira is in the HQ behind here. It's the lab. Our scientists develop weapons to use against the hackers. Heard about you. How do you like our planet? This is the shelter. In a real lab, we could get weapons and get our revenge. Are you? Did you bring the Tetron Stone? Why do you just say, are you? <laughs> Is against it. After all, it's an old invention. Have to see Tira, then we can talk. Even Scrap Seven is over here. You've met me before? Sorry, I've lost my memory. I can't remember anything. This is Gato. All I can remember is his name. But he's a great engineer, so he's helping us. We'll admit he's a better engineer than we are. Oops. Oh, we found the inventor's friend level 50. Where they're at. Yeah, that's not happening. There's an R&D room here if I really need it. I don't. The door is closed tight. Well, let's advance the plot, I guess. So our goal is to get some of the cutscenes out of the way here so we can just go straight to the final dungeon after this. Although, it's a little bit misleading because we're going to be entering and exiting the final dungeon more than once. So it's not like we're going to be done in one shot, for sure. Like, I could go in the meeting room here, but nobody's here to talk to. So let's go to the upper left. Vicky, Princess Tira is waiting. Please go in. And I go in as the mouse. <laughs> right, chat? Vicky, welcome. Come in. I was sure that you would come. 
<laughs> you see? She didn't want to see us, she wanted to see the mouse. My console will give you the details. Please ask him. Welcome, this is Choco's lab chief. Please give the Tetron to him. We'll take care of it. Vicky, take the Tetron if that's okay with you. The Tetron shows the flow of time, I've heard. The Tetron will show the fortress weak points. Then we can develop weapons to defeat it. Vicky handed over Stone 1. Stone 2. I love that the word handed was merged with our name briefly there. Stone 3. You have something unusual. Scrap A is a robot part. Setting robots. Let me see it. We'll say for a moment. <laughs> Although I like dot 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 no. Really? Thank you. Looking for ideas for inventions. We've loaned him Scrap A. Let me borrow it from the lab. I'd like to observe it. Console, I'm going to the lab too. I'll be right back. Princess, don't bother with that. The charm will be combined, bringing back their former power. Vicky, would you like to take a look too? Anyway, the game hasn't directly told us this, but it is mandatory to go to the lab. Go back to the lab. Oh, he doesn't say anything new. I thought he was going to say he said something new. Everybody just identifies me as the mouse, apparently. I guess this is our real forum chat. They're combining three stones into one. Interesting. Thank you for this. This robot scrap might give us some interesting data. The Tetron research comes first. We'll need a little time on this. You've met me before. Sorry, I've lost my memory. I can't remember anything. Well, let's talk to the remaining person in the room. This is... Oh, I already know that. So now... You have to just try to leave, I think. So let's go back to the throne room. <laughs> yeah, our true self, exactly. Which again, like, it's kind of like classic SNES. You just have to kind of know what to do. Oh, how embarrassing. You get old, you can't stand up for long. Did you see the lab? Hope they get something from the Tetron. The toe from the lab. He's a hard worker. I think Tira's kind of interested in him. Heard about someone with the same name who tried to steal the Tetron. Maybe just a coincidence. This is terrible, says the chief. The Tetron, Tira, Kato, all missing. What? Explain it to me. I was away from my desk for a moment, and he got out of the lab. Don't just stand there, look for them. So anyway, now we're advancing the plot a little more. I think I need to talk to this guard to advance the plot. Mickey, stop joking. Oh, oh, he recognizes we're Mickey, even though we haven't talked. Tira, she went walking with Gato. Then they left in the spaceship. And? And I hear, right? What's Gato going to do with the princess? This is awful. A telegram from Gato. It, I... Oh, wow, a telegram? Tell me, and no excuses. I'll read it. Tira and the Tetron are mine. You can't win. Stop resisting. Surrender now. Otherwise, Tira will lose her life. After ruler, Gato. Wait, didn't they say Blackmore and Rose were the hacker rulers? I guess they like exchanging hands a lot. Who's in charge, I suppose. Ballet dot dot dots. What? Is he the hacker's ruler? I didn't think. We have to do something. Gather everyone in the meeting room. We'll decide what to do. Mickey, join the meeting. Please help us. Tira and the Tetron have fallen into the hands of the hacker. Will someone volunteer to go to the fortress and rescue Tira? Look how we don't volunteer. This is shameful. There's no other way. Gather around. We'll draw straws. Red straw, that's it. Whoever draws one will join the rescue team, okay? Wait, just red straw? What did they know what the colors are? Or is that the point? Well, you know, inevitably, we're gonna get the red straw. The 
extended gag, I guess, as we get old to go there. Nikki, please take one. There's only two left. Which one do you want? I'll do the right one. Nikki gets the red straw. Those of you with red straws, get to the dock. It's up to you whether or not Choco is taken over by the hackers. I'm counting on you. What? Nikki picked a red straw. You're supposed to guard Cookie. Take care of her. I can't bother you with this. You must prepare. The tool shop is in the residential area. That warehouse will have to be open. Feel free to take whatever you need. You're very brave. This is my planet, but I have feet of clay. Um... I guess I'll go a little further with the plot. We have a hint for here. Nothing interesting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure no matter what we picked, we just automatically get booted. So, I have enough healing items to make it to the end of the game, but we're gonna leave the dungeon at least once. So our goal is to maybe level up twice between now and the end of the game. And if I somehow accidentally overlevel and don't level right as we beat the second to last boss, I took two cures as a backup. Which I think chat would agree is probably fine. Even my XP management was a bit iffy. Are you ready? I'll guide you. I guess I'll showcase the other places before we go. So we're gonna be locked into a path to the final dungeon, which is kind of funny because we could just leave it immediately if we wanted to. Go to the living area. But you came from a primitive society where samurai have swords stuffed in their belts. The good part about coming here is I get to see Tira close up. She's cute and elegant. Everyone's trying to be calm, but I'm scared. The fortress attacks again. I don't know what we'll do. Oh, there's the tool shop. Do we could buy scrap 9 and scrap 10. How much is a repair here? 450? Yeah, you're out of your mind. Literally three times more expensive than if we just left this area. I don't know what hackers are, but Choco scientists will take care of them. They're excellent. Choco had a beautiful city with both machines and nature, but now, how long will it last? Well, I guess we'll find out the answer to that question next time. Let's at least proceed a little further. Are you ready? I'll guide you. We'll say yes. I'll show you the way. There we go, Chad. We're on our spaceship. Talk to all the people here. Is Tira safe? Hope nothing happens to her. Lost the draw, so I have to go. Too bad. I wonder if Choco's ever been inside the fortress before. I'm excited. We'll close in on the fortress in high speed warp. We can't use the bathroom in warp. Our scientists are proud of the ship. It will be hard to destroy. Uh oh, chat. What was that? Hackers are attacking! What? Battle stations, launch a counterattack! Captain, the battery's been hit. We can't fight back. Captain, the engine room's under attack. Condition red. Captain, an ener energy reflection's headed our way. It's huge. Oh no. No escape. We're done for. Well, so much for the ship that's indestructible, chat. Hey. Hey, wake up, I said. Didn't you hear me? Uh-oh, Chad, a familiar face. I have to take care of you all the time. Don't you remember me? Hey, it's me, Kotetsu. It's been a long time. You surprised me. Looking for valuables on the down ship and saw you there. You calm down. Come here. I'll tell you all my stories. Head will be full. Uh, this should be fine.
How do you like the ship? It's the metal ion, and it's all mine. A long story. My business failed, and I put it up as collateral on a loan. And I was told if I spied on a certain kid from a certain planet, they would give it back. So, I watched you. What? Common thief? Well, that's just a side business. Why were you in a place like that? What? Going to the fortress? Might save her, but if you make enemies of them, a thousand lives won't be enough. <laughs> I heard that. Mint's here for some reason. You. You. Tomboy. How did you get aboard my ship? I know how to tail people. I was following a man and found the ship. By the way, I heard what you said. A fortress, a princess. Sounds interesting. It's not. Getting involved... Getting involved in such a mess? No thanks. Again, weird punctuation on some of the sentences. Wait, you. I've been listening. What a coward. This little boy is going to the fortress and you can't help. Are you a man or a mouse? Oh, I should have entered as a mouse. Forgot, chat. What? What? If you say that, I'll have to do something. I see. Fortress or not, I'll go anywhere. But I'll just go. I won't be responsible. Alright, chat. Let's leave that for next time. Oh, no, I can't leave it yet. Space. Princess. Fortress. Like science fiction, I can write a good article. Who is she? I'm business of the fortress. I'm a real businessman. With warp, we'll get to the fortress in one drum. Sit down there. I got nothing better to do. I just need to save the game and we're good. <laughs> Are you man or a mouse on most days on both? Yeah, that's a good response. So yeah, we'll, we'll not go very deep in the fortress. If I really have to, I will save state, but I prefer to make a, a in-game save. <clears throat> but I would like to not explore this place. We're actually not too far from the end. Like, we have we have under an hour to go. Oh, well, I guess it depends on boss RNG. But we have less than an hour of exploration to go. I'll put it that way. And sadly, chat, not feeling at my best. So we'll pause here right before we go into the final dungeon. We have a lot of spare cash, if I feel like using it. I don't really need to at the moment. We've arrived at the right location. Follow me. Wait, I'll go with you. You're kidding. You come along, it'll just complicate things. Stay here. Excuse me. What do you mean by that? Call me Mint. Anyway, if I go in, I'll talk to them. Pull down the fort. Here I go. Rescuing a princess. That's how you get to be a man. But why did she say that? Okay. She has no new hints for us. We'll save here. This is where we're going to pause. So we are very, very, very close to the end of the game. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to hopefully one try all the bosses. We have almost all the items we need. We do actually need to collect uh, a sh parts for two different uh, shield fours. I'm going to make sure that I have that on my little map. Because if we don't have that, the final boss is going to be kind of atrocious. So basically, I just need spare scrap nines. Which I believe we do have. Yeah, we do have those. I'm also going to check my inventory real quick before we go further. I have a scrap 3, scrap 7, scrap 7. I don't have another scrap 9. That might be a problem. We got the one that was in the past. Ooh, did I forget? Ooh, I might have forgotten to get it when we were in the fortress. I don't think that impacts the first boss, which is fine. So we could go back to Choco Shop and buy it. I think I missed it when we were in the fortress. I remember we got at least one of them guaranteed. We got the one from the mouse hole, and we used that to make the treads. Technically, not having two is not the end of the world. 
I could get by without having more than one. It would just be nice if I had it. So, for example, I could put, like, Shield 2 and 5 on Robot 2. I guess that's also fine. Maybe that's also fine. I, I think the official run that went through this game just did 2 and 5. I probably would have preferred another 4, but I don't think it matters. Ultimately, as long as I collect Shield 4 in this dungeon, we're good. One way or another, either through scraps or physically picking it up, we should be fine. But anyway, chat, we're done with all the side quests, so it's literally just a straight line to the finish. But sadly, we're going to have to pause here for now. So with that, I'm going to say, I guess goodbye to YouTube first. So with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching to this point, And hope to see you again in the next part, YouTube.